Hello and welcome to the Picking Nerds. In this video, we're showing you the strengths and the weaknesses of salt dye. I'm your host, Joe Cherries. I'm your host, BZ. That makes us the Nitpicking Nerds, but you should probably consider subscribing, keeping up with our Commander projects. And besides, our subscribers are 10% more likely to successfully exploit their friends for their benefit. Disclaimer, the Nitpicking Nerds cannot advise exploiting your friends for benefit. The strengths and the weaknesses of Soul Um, spoiler alert, Mostly strengths. Mostly strengths. Uh, Did you know that blue, black, and green are the three best colors in Commander? And that this color combination is the best three color combination in Commander. Because blue, black, and green are the three best colors in Commander? That's true. So it's pretty sweet. So yeah, we saved the best for last quite, quite literally. Yes. Quite literally. What is the first strength? Uh, the first strength is its ramp. It's just be green. If you're not green creature based, ramps. you're playing Sky Stroke Clan, you're playing Nature's Lore, you're playing Cultivate, you're playing blah de blah. If you are creature based, you're playing Secure Tribe Elder. What Elves, Farhaven Elf, Springbloom Druid, or whatever that new card is. Yeah, and all those cards are extra good in these kind of decks because uh, turns out Soltai is really, really good with both their commanders and just the cards in Soltai. Shall we list the commanders? Uh, you can list the commanders. Moldrotha, Mimeoplasm, Tassiger, Damia, yep. Vorosh, and Sedisi. Yep, and four of them are pretty strong graveyards. Four! Wow! That's a lot of them. So, obviously. That's just, it's just strong. I don't know what else to say. It's just, the Wood Elves... I mean, being a base Sakura Sakura Tribe Builder, doesn't make a deck strong. Yeah, but I mean, the, it makes the Wood Elves, the Sakura Tribe Builders, and the Fairhaven Elves that, that, that much better. It makes, them, it makes them better than, like, the Nature's Lore in these kind of decks. You know what else is good in Soul Time? The removal. It's insane. Uh, you, you get your Rifts, you get your Beast Withins, you get your Nature's Claim, you get your Toxic Deluges, Assassin's Trophy, Wind Grace's Judgment. Yeah, Wind Grace's Judgment is super, I've super I've been really impressed good. with that card. I've been playing it a lot. It's an impressively good card. Assassin's Trophy kill anything. Uh, I don't know. BZ just hates it. Less on the impressed card. with that card. I don't know why he's not impressed with that card. It's insanely good. More impressed with Wind Race's Judgment. The only time I'll ever advocate for a more expensive card. Yeah, super weird. You never advocate for more expensive cards. It's true. Just gotta. That's how good it is. Right. Plus, that's like Toxic Taylor is probably the best creature wipe in EDH. It's so good. You need a damnation too. Mm. You have like regular board wipes, but Toxic Taylor is my fave. Toxic Deluge is probably the best. Damnation is just a solid creature board wipe on top of that. Dead of, Dead of Winter. Wow. You get that of winter. You get all the goods. <laughs> you get that of winter. That's ooh, true. Salty snow EDH. Oh, ooh. after our modern horizons. Oh, spicy. So spicy. The next strength is what? The next strength is card draw recursion. Just keeping, always having something to do, basically. Did you mentioned Tassiger and Moldrotha because they only do card draw recursion. Yep. They're like the good stuff. Like no other colors get good stuff commanders. Yeah. These are two just good stuff commanders. You don't. There's no. You don't have to build. You do have to build on these to an extent. And then after that, you like can just put good stuff in. You need non-lands, and Muldrotha, you need permanents. Wow. Congratulations, you've built around both of them. Wow, you've built around them. You pet, you play, do you play permanents in your Muldrotha deck? I do. You win! I do, yes. <laughs> and I, do you play spells in your Tassiger deck? Congratulations, you're drawing cards. <laughs> uh, Eternal Witness, uh, also always, Green just always has Eternal Witness. Get back anything. Black it, always has Living Death. Get back everything. <laughs> it's, and your, it's two sides of the... Turns out you're going to be creature-based in decks like these, so... You get your Aristic Mystic 1-2 Punch in blue, and you get your Consecrated Sphinx, etc. Like, those types of things. This color combination is so good. It's just so good. It really is. Let's get into the final strength that we have. What is Although that? Although there are multiple more. But these are the main four strengths that we've isolated. Awesome commanders. Oh, why are these commanders so good? They're some of the Off most played commanders ever. Literally, other than Vorash, who's just whatever. He's part of the butt dragon cycle that we hate on every single episode of this. Yeah, so besides him, Moldrotha, extremely strong, just powerful commander, value commander, awesome card. So DC, one of the most played commanders of all time. Um, he's he is, People love Sidisi. He has a lot of cool, like, she, synergies. She has a lot of cool synergies. Um, Tasker, one of the best commanders of all time. Yeah, really good, like, CEDH guy before the whole partner and fiasco. He, and he's still insane. Like, he's, he's still really good. I mean, he's, he's still one of the best commanders. He's, I've played against it. It's really annoying when you present a threat and the task player player's like, I got an answer. I'll pay for it. And then you want to give me the answer for their thing? They're like, yeah, why wouldn't I do that? It's um, like, that's super irritating. Uh, Mimeo Plaza is one of like, the coolest. Like, it's like the glass cannon. He's so cool. Is what I'm I'll, play, I'll play a 2020 Jinga Taxius. Like, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and even do tons of stuff like that. Like, you put a Death Shadow in that deck, so you get the 13 counters. Oh, that's lame. <laughs> that's dumb. 
All right. Uh, Damia also gets you good value. But never fear. If you were worried about playing against Zoltan, you're like, what am I supposed to do? Well, we don't have much for you, but we have some. We have some weaknesses. Yeah, so so Zoltan is very resilient through most things. They're really good. It has the counter spells. It's not like you can't beat them. them. It's just like it has they have just they literally have fewer weaknesses than like a Boros deck. A way fewer weaknesses. <laughs> it's just so true. many fewer. Just true. Like Boros can't draw cards. This deck can do everything. This deck can draw cards. Boros can't ramp. This deck can actually ramp. Ah, uh, so the weaknesses here. The main one is they are weak to graveyard hate. Almost all the Typically, commanders. So. If you have a Saltai deck that you like can't get through in your playgroup, you, I would recommend, if you're not playing all of these cards, I would play most of them. Yeah, there's Relic of Progenitus, slots in any deck. I would be worried about your own Graveyard Synergy, but there's a lot of decks it still just goes in. Remorseful Cleric is really good. Like any white creature deck, you can slot this in and it will just get them. And if you're recurring at Cleric, it's just perfect. Oh, but Jukabog, any black deck. Jukabog, any I... black deck, period. Spellbomb can also just make a case for playing it in any black deck, especially if you have metagame problems. Uh, rest in peace if you just had it, and you're just like, Rah. Yeah, if you're not a very great, very synergistic deck, and you can just, you're willing to just... Yeah, if you're more stacks, you can lean towards the rest in pieces. Problem number two, low synergy. And that's, and this is not even a real problem. Um, the problem is that it's hard, the deck building is harder because getting to synergy, people are bad at building synergies in general. It's a hard thing to do. So, like, you have things like Rift, Ristic, Study, and Text, Stalus, those can be auto-includes, but they don't synergize. My cards are too good. I know. That's one of the weaknesses. I know. Sorry, it's folks. It Clickbait. Does, I know. It feels that way. And it's just, like, it's tough to synergize. It's like, if you're playing a Moldrotha deck, Cyclonic Rift doesn't synergize in any way with your Moldrotha deck, but it's just so good that you just want to throw it in. You're not spell-slinging. Yeah, you can't get it back. Toxic Delusion, Damnation, and all this stuff. You gotta be careful, I guess. They could fall into traps of just, like, playing too much good stuff. Playing too many good spells in your Moldrotha deck? Yeah. That's, that seems too fair. many counter spells, too much counter magic, stuff like that. Like. Too much counter magic. I maybe like I think if you really have a problem with Saltai, the best thing to do is just literally get someone on your side and just gang up on them. Like be, be I'm, I'm playing. Oh god, I, I don't have an example. I'm playing Bruce Tarl and my friend's playing Bruce Tarl. Let's both attack the Saltai player, and we can just get them <laughs> get them dead. Classic Bruce Tarl deck. The Bruce Tarl Saltai meta. <laughs> Bruce Tarl, no partner. Didn't even partner him up with another Boros no, guy. No, just I didn't bother. Two broke Bruce Tarl decks. They're just going at him. Going for Saltai. We're going for the ultimate mustache meme deck. And yes. You really want to go. I always thought he had a mustache on his belly, but it's like some purple thing. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Why would he have a mustache on his belly? Because it's a foreign world. Uh, Saltai's insane. That's basically what we're getting to. Um, very good. Best three color combination. I don't think it's very close. I would say it's low fun. It's low and fun. A lot of the other combinations are more fun. So, Commander is a format about fun, so that's the weakness number three. We can, it is a little bit less fun. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it definitely, it feels a lot less fun because... I've played Sultai and I've played against it, and it's just like, eh. I feel like I have so many few deck slots to actually be creative with. Yeah, it's not... You don't get to be very creative in these kind of decks. There's a lot of... The cards just kind of fit in the decks already. Like Moldrotha, you're just, you're fitting in those permanents. The, the cost of Caterpillar, it's already in 100% of the decks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Weakness number four, on the spot. Breaking news, not even on the thing, neither was three. Political disadvantage. Can't make can't make friends with everybody if you're just playing format staples, right? Yeah, if you're, you're just, just like Mystic Remora and then Toxic Deluge, like who are you gonna make friends with? Huh? Yeah, who, who wants to? No one, I, that's not fun. Nobody wants to like team up with the lame dude. No one wants to team up with the deck that's just gonna win. As fast as possible. See, we rounded it out. There's four weaknesses. The, 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 one of the weaknesses is fun. The other one is you have three opponents, which is always, which is always true. But don't look past that. Look at our advice and realize, wow, I want to subscribe to these guys. What is there another way I can ever support these guys? Uh, you can support us by being, well, you wouldn't be one of our 15. You'd be one of our 16. But we have 15 currently on this Patreon card. Uh, our generous patrons. They are all awesome. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting bigger and starting bigger. starting to look a little ridiculous. It's going to be ridiculous. It's already ridiculous. Um, eventually, it has to. Ex it's going to extend the butt, like here somewhere. I don't a know. A little busy. It'll do something weird. It's got to do something weird because it's not going to be able to continue down. Or there'll be two. Two, maybe two. Could scroll. It could scroll. Like credit style. Yep. You could also do a whole separate page for patrons. But regardless, we love all you patrons. You're awesome. If you want to join them, head over to patreon.com slash user slash nitpicking nerds support us there we love you we love you for just watching this video yeah thank you I mean, we and just love you by default and peace out tribe scout